Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC19 Podcast for Pretty Little Lies, Season 5, Episode 21, Bloody Hell. I'm your host, Dom, and with me is my co-host, Heather. How's it going? It's going. It's one of those days. Things things are getting intense now. It is. We're getting closer and closer to the finale. They're figuring it out. They're dropping hints left and right. They are. They are. Um, I know... uh, is it Marlene King? Is, is that the one that... Mm-hmm. She's the series producer or whatever? Um, she's been dropping some hints on Twitter. She's been very uh, interactive mm-hmm. with the fans lately. And uh, she even boldly went as far as saying, in the finale, you will find out if it's one of the girls or not. Mm-hmm. When you, you drop something like that, um, I... I I don't know whether to think it's one or not. I'm, uh, that makes me that li- makes me think it's not. But then you have to think about it—the fact that she even mentioned that. Right. It seems like it would be such a big spoiler if it was one. So that's why it's making me think it's not one of the girls. She also said something as if you started watching from season three, you could figure out who stole the game from Mona. Mm-hmm. So it's not necessarily someone that was in season one. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm uh, I'm I'm baffled at this point because I, I was convinced it was Arya, but mm-hmm. who, who knows? Who knows? It's anybody's game now. Um, but in this episode, uh, the girls go to see uh, Allison in jail. Uh, except Hannah. Hannah doesn't show up. Whoa. Yep. Why was that? She chickened out. She just, uh... I mean, you have to remember the last time that she went to go see her, she called her a liar and a murderer and all that right to her face. That's true. That is true. Well, the girls go and confess, uh, what Mike had told Arya and beg, Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Allison to keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. Um, do do you think she's gonna keep shut on that? I don't know. It's hard to say when it comes to Allie right now, you know? I mean, we saw some pretty rare sides of her this episode. Yeah, that is true. And then, not only that, but we we had um, uh, Spencer's mother go visit Allie in jail. Mm-hmm. You know, she gets upset at the kids, and uh, she uh, ships Spencer right off to London. Yep. I mean, we thought that Spencer was going to go on her own to go um, look for school to kind of get away from everything. But nope. it, it was, she was forced into it. Didn't even have a choice. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I know what you did. Here's a ticket. You're leaving tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go go stay with uh, Ren and Melissa. Except mm-hmm. they're not there. Mm-hmm. Where? where what? Yeah, like, apparently, I think Connor was saying, the guy that, the roommate, flatmate, whatever he called himself, said that Ren and Melissa had gotten invited to somebody's country club, and they'd be back the next day, something, I I still think Melissa's in the barrel. (laughs) I'm still hoping Melissa's in the damn barrel, because, I mean. You're hoping, or you you think she's in there? Both. (laughs) Has there been any clues to who's in the no. barrel at this point? <laughs> no. The barrel came. It, it was opened. The cops got it. And that was it. That's all we've heard. We haven't heard anything else about the barrel. Now, I'm, we do know I'm that starting next to think it's week... not as serious as we think it is. I don't think it's a body or anything. Because um, if it was a body, and if it was Melissa, don't you think they would have heard about it by now? The cops would have been, like, actively pursued. They would have. They would have had to tell the parents. There's no way that they could, they can keep that a secret. If there is a dead body, they have to inform the, the relatives. Maybe. Unless they're still running tests at this point. 
Yeah, I mean, we haven't really... I mean, in, in the show, it's only been a few days. Has it? I don't yeah. I don't even know what the time frame on the show is, because sometimes it's it's a day between, sometimes it's a week between episodes, sometimes it's a month or two. It, it's really hard to determine the timeline on this show. Hmm. I don't know. But what, what was up with... Uh, Ren and, and Melissa's flatmate. I don't know. He was creepy. He was super creepy. and He was creepy. I was like, what? This is the problem I have with this show is every time they introduce a new character, you're like, oh my God, that's A. Yeah. You know, obviously it's not. Oh my God, that's it. Could it be an A henchman? It's possible. But because when, when Spencer goes in to, to meet in for um, the school, Mm -hmm. like she's getting the interview and the one-on-one -on -one right. and everything was going really well. Professor. All of a sudden that bag started bleeding. <laughs> and the professor of all people notices at first. Right. And it left a nice big puddle on his floor. And on the chair. Right. It's not something he can ignore. It's yeah. like he, he saw that that's going to come up. It's not even like, Oh, what was that in your bag? And it was just contained to the bag and she left and disposed of it. And everything's fine. Right. He, he had a one-on-one -on -one interview with her. He knew her. He knew where she's from. If there's mm -hmm. blood, he's suspicious at all. All he has to do is call back to her hometown. And, Not only that, you know, Ren is the one who got... Ren is the one that got her that um, interview. Right. But... The, so Spencer goes, Oh, um... They, a got, me, got to me before I got on the plane. That's not necessarily true. That's yeah. not necessarily true. She had contact Zane. with one person and it's that dude in the flatmate i mean know, the, we, the flatmate we've seen guy. it i forget we his saw name it, but yeah connor connor we saw it in this episode a can literally get anywhere a was a, in the a prison has, a has the reach to be anywhere but does not necessarily is themselves everywhere All right a got into the prison got into the hospital you know Who's to say one of the baggage claim people didn't slip the vial in there at this point? <laughs> it's it's very true. It's very true. Um, yeah, because A was in, in jail. We saw when when Hannah, uh, not Hannah, when um, Allison wrote Mona on the, the desk, right, in the laundry room. Right, yeah. She came back later and it said told everything and it was underlined. Yeah, that was that was definitely something else. Yeah. Um I don't know. Like you have any ideas how A could possibly have gotten in there? Into the jail, I have no idea. Like, because I, I can't even say that somebody inside did that, like an inmate or anything. It would have to be somebody that works there, you know, um, somebody that can get in. But, I, I mean, I would sooner think somebody that works there because of the hours, like how late it was. You know, they obviously didn't have visitors at that point. And then... Um, I don't know. It's Eddie Lamb. That's it. Eddie Lamb. Whatever happened to him? We don't know. He just disappeared, didn't he? He disappeared. He was gone. I totally forgot about Elam. The silence of Elam. Yeah, I have. I have no clue. That's that. That's a good point. I don't even I have absolutely no clue where he went. Right, and that could. I mean. <sighs> Could do it. It's him. It's him. He could. He could. He works at the prison now. Yeah, he very well could. <laughs> with a pet dog, and they clean things with cross sticks. Well, kickboxing knives. Well, kickboxing knives. Yes. Yeah. Um, Ari's worried about. How uh, Mike is going to become A's next target, so uh -huh. you know, she she's talked to Miss uh, Mrs. Hastings for a bit, and she she paid her the nice flat rate of one dollar an hour. You know that that's that's is that what lawyers are getting these days? Yeah, I was I was like I can't believe she actually went for that. That was awesome. Yeah, that that was. 
can can she actually like hold up to that? Is that she is that lawyer her, client she confidentiality? It. She paid. She accepted. Yeah, I would say that 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 hired her. To, but but there's no documentation. There's no nothing on that. It, does it, that still apply? I mean, I guess. I mean, who, who the hell knows? Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know the the stuff for lawyers, like the technicalities. Yeah, that's very true. I have absolutely no clue either. I I I think it may hold up. I I can't be certain though. And then when, cause cause she went to go talk to Allie like immediately after. That was immediately after um, Arya went to talk to her. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm not sure. I'm um, not sure. I have no idea. Yeah. So what do you think is gonna end up happening um, with Allison now? Is is she wants to tell the truth. Her lawyer's I'm, not going to let her take the stand. You know, like... I'm really hoping that Miss Hastings will coach her, like she asked, you know? I mean, Miss Hastings was like, no, you can't do that. To you do that, you'd have to be coached really well on exactly what to say and how to say it. Because as Miss Hastings says, she says something a certain way, they're going to have her... They're going to they're gonna cut her up, you know? They're gonna they're gonna just take whatever she says and run with it and make her look bad. They're gonna twist her words. So oh, I mean, I'm really hoping to see Miss Hastings teach and coach Allie because I think it's going to be the only way that we learn what's really going on. Yeah, it's very true. Um, the the girls go to see. Um, uh, what was it, Arya and, uh, Emily? Hannah. No, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Um, they go to see, uh, Hank Mahoney. Cyrus. Yeah. Cyrus. What the hell happened to him? A. I mean, we didn't see the accident, right? I, did, mm -mm. I, I was like, did I miss something this whole time? Mm -mm. I was like, should I go back and watch last week again? I don't remember an accident. We never saw the accident. We never, nothing, none of it. Like, as Arya had said, you know, she called around, found out that this guy, Frank Mahoney or whatever, worked at this garage, called the garage. Yeah, he works here, but he's out right now from... An injury. He'd gotten hurt. And that was that. Yeah, it was, it, I was like in shock. He's like all burnt up. He's in the, mm -hmm. the intensive care unit for burn victims. And, uh, you know, they, they talk to him and he can barely talk. He says mm -hmm. one word that, you know, he says... Something about it. it wasn't even an it wasn't an accident or something. It was like a yeah. quick phrase, and then you could tell like that took so much energy out of him. But he was able to to write the word uh, what we thought at first was carjack, um, but apparently it's it's varjack from one of uh, Ali's favorite movies. Right? I, f Breakfast I forget what movie. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, that's right. Because um, she plays what's her name, Holly. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Or, or no, I'm saying that she took on the persona of, um, of the main girl, and so it's only obvious that A would be playing as Varjack. Now, does this mean though that Varjack, that A is a guy? If A is a guy, all of a sudden I'm thinking Ezra again. I know. <laughs> Or Toby with how he's been acting. Well, Toby, I, Toby's acting, you know, I want to say he's acting like a cop, but he's acting like a dick, but he, he's prioritizing his job right now, right? Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's not going to make him A. Mm -hmm. But Ezra, right, Ezra just is all sorts of shady to me. He always has been. And I, I know I dismissed it because of the book, but now I started thinking about it. And it's like, 
He had a whole lair in Ravenswood for a book? Mm-hmm. Right? He had surveillance cameras, and he, he watched these things on the iPad for, for a book? Mm-hmm. Like, what? Like, it really makes me wonder, is Barjack... If Barjack is A, does that make A a man? Because, I mean, that's, like, that's one question nobody really asks. Is A man or woman? Yeah, and that's one that we're not going to get an answer to until we find out for sure. Right. Because, and... I mean, there's scenes at the end where you look at A and her, the hands look feminine. And then there's and other parts like when they were at the burn unit and A stood up off the chair or the bed that looks like a guy. Yeah, and then, well, the one last episode, too. Um, where they were playing around with the weights, and that ended up playing out to Arya, you know, got injured with that uh, this episode, but, you know, not too bad. It could have killed Mike if mm -hmm. he was using it. Um, but uh, in that particular scene, the, the person with the wrench, it looked like a male. Mm -hmm. So, but we've had other episodes very clear that the, it, it looks like a female, so I think they I think they switch it up on purpose. Yeah, I think they do that to, to mess with us. And either that or maybe not all of them are A. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they're they just A henchmen. Yeah. So. I mean, it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. It's like the handwriting on the note that um, Allie got in jail. It's very chicken scratchy. It reminded me much of like a guy's handwriting. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, well, um. You know, not all bad things happen this episode. We we also had uh, Ashley uh, and and Ted are finally uh, back together. They talk. Mm -hmm. They they seem like they're gonna work things out. Mhm. Mm so, you think she's we she's wearing her ring? She's wearing it. He's all for it. Do you, do you think uh, all's well that ends well? No. 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 It can't be that easy. <laughs> Nothing's ever that easy. How do how do you think A's gonna screw this one up? She's going to put them on blast. A's just going to... A's going to put them on blast. I mean, look at the end scene. Yeah, we had the, the end scene where A's putting $20 bills in the Bible. Uh, but the Bible is for the women's correctional facility, so... It's not... Maybe Ted. Maybe Ted is going in on Sundays and being the tr the preacher. Mm, could be. I don't know. Now the question is: There was only ten Bibles. Are these ten Bibles going to be put in specific places for specific people? Or maybe they're all for one person. I don't know, like, are the, uh, the Bibles are individual for the cells, right? I don't know. Again. Come on, you've never been to jail? You don't know? <laughs> mm -mm. I, haven't, I haven't either. But <laughs> I, I believe that they're one per room. So it may be a just covering bases, trying to um, do that. Or this may be someone that's working in conjunction with Ali that she's bribing the inmates uh, for something and saying, oh, I'll get you some money to mm -hmm. trade, you know, because there's that whole trading system in jail. And, mm -hmm. you know, they could probably trade with uh, the, the off you know, the the officers and stuff. Yeah. Um, if they have money. So maybe A cut a deal and, or Alice had a deal and, you know, she got one of her, you know, one of her friends to, to put. We don't even know if that's A. We're just assuming it's A. Right, we can't tell anything anymore with this fucking show. Yeah. I mean, they changed every, everything so back and forth. Yeah. Um, did anything else really significant happen this episode? Uh, Andrew, um, there's some stuff with Andrew, right? Arya and mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Arya and Andrew had a, they had a kiss. Mm-hmm. So, what the, what's going to go on when Ezra finds out about this? Yeah. Is, is someone else going to go missing? Someone mm -hmm. else going to end with a fatal injury to their foot? 
Mm -hmm. You know, they say it's fatal because we've never seen kickboxing do it ever again. Right? You know? We don't know. He could have gotten an infection. He could have bled out on the floor. We don't know. Mm Mm-hmm. We've never heard a single word from him since. We've never I know. Even, they've never once addressed it. Like Arya of all people didn't even like find out or hear anything. And it's like and it's like um it's like with the Eddie Lamb just disappeared. Unless he was so like he he realized how serious this was and like shut his mouth and like didn't report it to Arya and right. skipped town. Like I mean that's that's a viable option for him, but you know, Eddie Lamb just straight up disappeared. Um, he put in what his resignation, mm-hmm. right? And then we haven't heard from him since. So he could have been scared off as well, mm-hmm. or maybe Eddie Lamb is in the barrel. Right. You know, I'm, I'm as much as I wanted to be somebody like Melissa. I'm starting to think uh, not so much. Do you think we're gonna see Ren and Melissa uh, in the next coming? I episodes? don't know. Well, Melissa, well, Melissa and, um, uh, was it Jenna? Mm-hmm. We've seen in almost every finale ever, haven't we? And they usually disappear for a very long time and then pop up randomly in the finales. So do you think we're going to see them in the finale? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Like, here's my thing with Ren and, with Ren and Melissa. We haven't seen them in forever. Melissa gave that, that tear video to Spencer and was gone. Now, in this episode, Spencer is, is beyond freaked the hell out. Wants to go home, wants to go home, wants to go home. There's a scene near the end of the show where Miss Hastings is going through that paperwork And she opens up the case file to Allie. And she sees something. We don't know what she sees, but she sees something. And immediately calls Spencer and tells her that she has to stay with Red and Melissa. Do not come home. Yeah. I mean, she fled the country. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. So... I don't know. I know the actor that plays Ren is on another TV show right now. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been in... I forget what the show's... The name of the show was, but he's been in about eight episodes so far, so... Mm-hmm. I don't know for sure if he was able to get over here for scheduling conflicts, if he's going to be uh, another... You know, if there's another season of that show, if he's even going to have the ability to come back at any point for, for this show, other than maybe a guest appearance here and there. I don't think we're ever going to see him have a significant role in the show uh, unless the ties with, with this other show he's on um, are, are done. Yeah. Um, who was it? I, I sent you a link. One of the guys from the show is... Um, oh, what was it? Was it Pretty Little Liars was going on to... Or... Somebody was going on to something... It was a few days ago that I said it. I forget. Not sure. I'm trying to look in uh, in our group, but I don't see it. Find it. But um, yeah. Anyway, next week's episode is called "To Plea or Not to Plea." Arya, Emily, and Hannah keep looking for a way to prove Ali's innocence without incriminating Mike. But when the DA proposes a plea bargain agreement for Allie that includes naming one of the PLLs as her accomplice, the girls intensify their search, not only to Mm -hmm. save Allie, but to save themselves. Will Allie stick to her story of innocence, or will she give up one of the pretty little liars to save her own skin? Meanwhile, not knowing what is happening back in Rosewood, Spencer gets a much-needed break from all the drama with a night out in the town in London. And it's kind so of refreshing. Appara- so apparently Spencer's staying in London then. Yeah, it's kind of refreshing to see some new scenery in the show other than like the girls' houses and the school and like the the uh, coffee shop and you know it's it's nice to have them. It's little subtle things, but but nice change of scenery. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. That is good. Yeah. Uh, did you happen to find the uh, the thing? No. Um, the other thing is, um, 
They've kind of, the, the way Marlon King's been, been hinting things, we don't know for sure what the extent of the reveal is going to be. Like, are we going to get a name? Are we going to see the person? Um, are we going to know for sure that they're A? Or are right. the girls going to know? Right. right? What, if, what if the thing ends with them taking the hood off of A, staring A in the face and going, no way, and then it just ends and we don't mm-hmm. find out? Like, Oh, here it is. I found it. Is that going to be upsetting to you? Mm-hmm. No. That, that would, would not be upsetting like to you? I would just like knowing who it is. You would you would want to go for another what is it? It's only two months between the the show, yeah, right? It's between not that the next long. season. So yeah. would you be able to go two months with that that kind of a tease reveal? Yeah, yeah. I mean we've had a lot worse. We've had much worse cliffhangers. I think just the way it's been pr- promoted, like I'd be very upset because they're like, um mm-hmm. when will you find out who A is? You'll find out who Big A is on March twenty fourth. If we don't find out who Big A is, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> they've, been, they've been promoting it that way. You're going well, to that, find out. Yeah, if I even don't. Marlene has said that we will find out who it is. They better. They better not pull some bait and switch with us, or I'm going to be really right. mad. So, yeah. Do um, you have anything else before we wrap this up? Did you find um, out who I, it was? I do, I do. It is... The guy who plays, I don't know which one this is. It's been so long since I've watched Vampire Diaries. Okay. Paul Wesley. Okay. Stefan in Vampire Diaries. Yes, thank you. He is supposedly going to have a guest appearance on Pretty Little Liars coming up. Wow. That's mm-hmm. that's huge if that's the case. Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I wonder what kind of role he's gonna take. It'd be really cool if he played Stefan Salvatore. <laughs> <laughs> Linking the two worlds together. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Uh no information on any kind of roles or whatever he's playing? Um, no, he's been seen with Marlene a lot lately. Um there's a couple of other reasons he might be with her. She is petting the new sick and twisted horror film, The Merciless, based on Daniel Danielle Vegas' intense debut novel. And she's also doing the television adaption to The Perfectionists, which is Sarah, Sarah Shepard's other books that I was talking about not mm-hmm. too long ago. Right. Well, one we'll see. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, I'd, I'm pretty sure filming is already over for this season, so we would not be expecting to see uh, Paul Wesley in this season, if anything. If it is for right. Pretty Little Liars, it would probably be for next season. Mm-hmm. Um, which is a kind of interesting, because we know that two out of the three cast members for The Vampire Diaries, one of which is Paul Wesley, have signed on for the next season of Vampire Diaries. But the third has right. not, and it's kind of been a mystery as who that third is. That's mm-hmm. not to say that they're not going to. Mm-hmm. But if it's Paul, and he's going to explore some other venues, uh, that's that's that could be uh, interesting. That's that's a big possibility for him. Mm-hmm. So, as I said, he's been he's been seen around with Marlon King a lot lately. So, interesting, interesting. Well, um, I think that about wraps the show up. So, uh, Heather, where can people find you? Um, Renexia. Excellent. Twitter, everywhere. I'm, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Yeah. Uh, you could find me down below at Phenomenon, P H E N O M E D O M. You could also find us on the Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, G, <laughs> and uh, right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Till next week. See you guys later. <laughs>